Welcome to Cars Mation. The current generation of the 3008 has been in production for over six years, and during that time more than a million vehicles have been sold. Stellantis states that Europe is its largest market, highlighting the significance of offering an all-electric variant in the future generation. Stellantis considers the 3008 to personify the power of choice, as it is offered in three distinct powertrain configurations, gas, diesel, and a gasoline-electric plug-in hybrid, to suit individual preferences. The BEV, set to launch this year, is designed to address this need. Multiple reliable sources informed us in February of 2023 that the upcoming third-generation Peugeot 3008 will not have the appearance of a conventional SUV. The E3008 electric vehicle might benefit greatly from its low riding height and steeply sloped roof in order to reduce energy consumption and boost range. The next-generation Peugeot 3008 was rumored to ditch the company's characteristic light design on June 19 of that year, 2021. Inspired by the original model's vertical LED DRLs that lend the vehicle a saber-toothed look, Peugeot's new second-generation 308 features hook-shaped DRLs. The above image is a preview for Peugeot's future 2023 lineup of electric vehicles, which confirms the new three-claw design of the Peugeot E3008's LED DRLs. The E3008, Peugeot's first all-electric vehicle, will debut in the second half of 2023. January of 2023 has been set as the date. The E3008 will be released to the public sometime in the second half of 2023. The first C SUVs from the following generation will be shipped out sometime in the first half of 2024. We estimate that the starting price of a Peugeot E3008 will be roughly $48,100, albeit this has not been confirmed by the manufacturer. NI Cockpit the company's characteristic combination of a compact steering wheel, a raised instrument cluster, and a huge touchscreen infotainment system, will be standard equipment on the first ever E3008, the 3008's successor, which is scheduled to be released on January 17, 2023. The EV version of the 3008 should improve on the high-quality materials currently present there, while also fixing problems like as the narrow rear windshield, the E3008's absence of physical knobs for the air conditioner, and the lack of homogeneity in the cabin's ergonomics. When touching different parts of the 3008 interior, one is pleasantly surprised by the high quality of the materials used, and we anticipate the E3008 will offer a similar experience thanks to its reduced panel gaps. The new 3008 is the first vehicle for Peugeot's STLA medium platform. The totally electric E3008 will be followed by the larger and mechanically linked E5008 in the second half of 2023. The next generation of Peugeot cars will focus on zero emission powertrains, but the business will also offer electrified powertrains for markets that aren't ready for all electric cars just yet. The SDLA medium architecture, which will power the next-gen Peugeot E308 and a wide variety of Stellantis EVs, is expected to be more powerful and have a longer range than the current EMP2 platform. In particular, the E3008 will be capable of traveling up to 700 kilometers, 440 miles, without emitting any harmful gases, and Peugeot will offer a choice of three different electric powertrains. If we disregard the E3008, we may presume that the tinier vehicle will be equipped with the new mild hybrid version of the three-cylinder 1.2-liter PureTech petrol engine that was unveiled earlier this year. A new six-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission, EDSC6, couples with a powerful electric motor, 
with a maximum output of 28 horsepower, 21 kilowatts, 28 PS, to drive the front wheels. And 898 watt hours, 432 watt hours usable, 48 volt battery is located under the passenger's left front seat. The mild hybrid setup produces a combined 134 horsepower, 100 kilowatts, and 230 newton meters, 170 pounds to foot, of torque, and it reduces fuel consumption by 15% compared to the regular 3008 system. It is not known if the next generation Peugeot 3008 would retain the option between a forward electric powertrain and an AWD electric motor. If you're looking for a zero emission vehicle but don't live in a country with a developed charging infrastructure, this may be your best bet, but a battery electric vehicle, BEV, makes everything else in the lineup seem irrelevant. Thanks for watching.